Good morning, good morning. It is Gratitude Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. <clears throat> it was a little warm here in Wisconsin, but uh, it was a beautiful weekend to um, just get out and do some things. So, but of course, this past weekend, yesterday, was Father's Day. So, happy late Father's Day to all of those that I didn't get a chance to say happy Father's to yesterday. And I just am really, really grateful for fathers. There's three fathers that I know in my life that are especially important. Number one is my father in heaven. He is an amazing God, and I am just so thankful to have a relationship with him and his son, Jesus Christ. Number two father in my life um, is my dad. Amazing, amazing man. Uh, just a great man of faith, a very loyal man, a very generous man, and an excellent caregiver to my mom. I actually did a little Facebook post kind of tribute to him yesterday, and I love my daddy so much. Yes, I am 46 years old, and I still call my dad daddy because he is so special to me, and he just deserves that name. Um, and he's just always been a great family man. I love him to death. And I'm thankful that I had a dad who was present. My daddy was present. He was home at night and he was just involved in my sister and my life. The third dad in my life is, of course, my husband, who is the father of my two little girls who aren't so little anymore. I mean, they are. They're 11 and almost 10. Lydia is 11 and Madeline will be 10 in the fall. And my husband is just a great dad. He's also a family guy. Um, what do they say? That you marry someone like your dad? Well, my husband's not like my dad in many, many areas. But one area that he is like my dad is he's a family guy. He works really hard. He provides for our family. He spends time with the girls he pitches in with a lot of different things, you know, um, cooking and just always, just always being present. And he's just a great guy that is always thinking about how he can provide better for his family. So those are the three fathers in my life that I am very, very grateful for. And Throughout my life, there has been, have been men who have been fathers. I wouldn't say they were a father figure to me, but they were men who were great fathers. And because they were great fathers to their kids, they had a lot of great influence in my life as well. So I can think of my band director in high school, Larry Welsh. And he was a great father to and a great husband. Um, but he was a great band director and a leader and an influencer in my life. I can think of my freshman biology teacher in high school, and Al Rizzo. And he was a great father and just an inquisitive mind, a curiosity. And he's really the one who kind of propelled me to pursue science. I'd always wanted to be a veterinarian. Um, and he had such such a passion for nature, uh, botany, and animal science that uh, that inspired me. And so, although I did not become a veterinarian because I'm severely allergic to cats, I did continue to pursue a science-based career as a health professional. So there have been men in my life who were great fathers to their children, and because of that, I got to see just great fathers working in my life and influencing my life. So I'm just grateful for those fathers. I think men and dads in general kind of get beat up a little bit in the media, a lot of commercials, a lot of sitcoms. They really shed a negative light on men as kind of being goofy, uh, not very bright. And I don't like that because I want my girls to know a lot of positive male role models in their life and I want them to be able to see through their dad, through the dads of other friends that they have, that there is hope out there to find a very good guy and to marry a wonderful, loving family guy. 
And sometimes that's not always portrayed in the media and commercials and movies and, and stuff. So I just am thankful for the men in my life and um, thankful again to my father in heaven, to my earthly father, and to my husband who is a great father. If you uh, were able to talk with your dad yesterday, awesome. If you weren't, maybe try and reach out today or just send a little text as a reminder that you love your dad. And if you didn't have um, a dad who kind of showed up in your life, is there a father figure that you could have reached out to yesterday or today and just say thank you? I wish you all a great, great day. And I hope that fathers who might be listening in, that you had a great dad's day. Take care.